Hello fellow readers and readresses, and welcome to the most precious EBR game, The Lord of the Reeds, for May. The Lord of the Rings is a TBR game that me, in my ultimate wisdom and inspired by The Lord of the Rings, have created myself for the pleasure of sharing it with you. If you'd like to play it yourself, the printable files, game rules, and all other additional stuff are in the video description. And if you'd like to hear more about the rules of the game itself, you can watch the first installment over here. Now very quickly, we're just gonna go through the different tiles on the board. The first one being add a book. There are two of those tiles on the map, and once we land on this tile, we're gonna add an additional book to this month's TBR. The second one is the empty tile. When I land on this tile, I'm gonna dip in my random bookshelf jar and I'm gonna pick a book to read from there. The next one is the 2023 TBR jar. In this one, we have all the books that are on my 2023 TBR currently. I'm gonna dip in this one and pick a book to read. Next, we have the prompt cards. This month, we have way more prompt cards than we did in the previous month because I would like to be landing on these tiles. Actually, once we land on this tile, we're gonna go into the prompt cards and we're gonna select one to read a book that corresponds to this prompt. There are 50 two of those. Then we have the bookstore tile. When we land on this tile, I will have to go either to the library or to the bookstore and pick a book to read from there. Next, we have the series jar tile. When we land on this one, we're gonna dip into my series glass where I have all the series that I'm currently in the middle of reading and pick a series to continue with. And then we have all the genre tiles. We have graphic novel, fantasy, sci-fi, mystery and thriller, classics, manga, non-fiction, and historical fiction. When I land on one of these styles, I'm gonna have to select a book from the corresponding genre and read it. And last, but definitely not least, we have the mission tile. When I land on this one, I'm gonna have to go into my mission cards, pick one, and then read a book to correspond to this prompt. And once I fulfill this prompt, I'm gonna unlock one of the characters from the Fellowship of the Reeds. So far, we only have one unlocked, and that is Gimli. And that is, I think, all I have in terms of explanations. We're gonna have five rolls of two six-sided dice. We have camera two over here to follow up my rolls. Without further ado, let's begin with roll number one. And we have an eight. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we land on the series jar. As I mentioned last time when I landed on this one, there are quite a few series here that I'm excited about and quite a few that I'm not so much excited to continue with, but it's all good. I think it's important that we finish what we started, at least to me, it is important. This is gonna be the series that I continue with. The Hunger Games, well, <laughs> All right, uh, last month for my Aurelium TBR, I picked Mockingjay, which is the last book in the Hunger Games series. I haven't finished it yet, but I will probably do so in the next day or two. So I don't think it's fair if I leave this one here. So let me select another series. All right, Hunger Games is out of the glass. Let's see what I'm gonna read next. I really need to get like a real jar for this thing, but uh, well, next time. This is the series that I continue with. Jack Reacher, yes, oh my god. Jack Reacher series is one of my favorite series out there. It follows the ex-military Jack Reacher who travels around and solves different difficult cases helping people. I've been buddy reading this series with a friend of mine for a while now and I'm gonna try to convince her to buddy read this one with me as well. We have reached book number five, which is Echo Burning. I have no idea about the plot of this specific one, but I don't need to. I would like to go into it blind and I am so excited to be back in this world and read about this person whom I absolutely adore. Matter of fact, just a few days ago, I was thinking how much I would like to go back to this series and I am so happy that the jar picked it for me. All right, since Jack Reacher is a big series, this one goes back into the jar. Roll number one is done and it was a great success. I am so happy with it. Let's see what's gonna happen with roll number two. And we have a four. One, two, three, four. And finally, for the first time ever, we are landing on the prompt cards. Let's shuffle them nicely. As I mentioned earlier, we have 52 prompt cards here that I have selected from the internet, things that I think could be interesting to me. It is not everything that could be covered, obviously, but I think these are some good ones. Let's see. 
Uh, I'm gonna go for uh, this one. Is this the proper way to hold it? Of course not. And we have has a the in the title. Oh my god, this could not be more generous, I think, because I have like a zillion books with a the in their title. So let me go see my bookshelves and see what I can pick from there. After a way too long consideration, because when you have a big choice, it is way more difficult to choose, apparently, I have decided to continue with book number four in the Percy Jackson series, and that is The Battle for the Labyrinth. I have read this series many, many years ago, but I never finished it, and I am so happy to do it right now. I'm having so much fun reading through this series again, and this one, I remember, was very, very interesting. I remember that I was super, super excited about this one specifically, so I I'm, again, so happy to be back in this world and read the story once more. All right, roll number two was also super, super nice. Now it's time to go for roll number three. And we have an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we land on a classic. All right, this is great because I was actually kind of in a reading classics mood. Let's go pick a book. I decided to go full nostalgia and go for a book that I have read multiple times before when I was a kid and it gives me all the cozy feels and that is The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. Now, I know that this book is a little bit controversial nowadays, but I don't think it should be because it was written in a time and it was appropriate for its time. And I think it's important for us to step back from where we are right now and consider that the people back then did not have the perspective that we have today, nor did they see things the way we see them today. And while I think a lot of what happened back then was wrong, I don't think again that these people had the opportunity to see it as we see it right now and who knows how we are going to be judged one day so i choose to judge the story for the story itself and this one is admittedly lovely so i am super happy to be back into this book and read the adventures of these two lovely little dudes all right three rolls down two more to go and so far great success let's go for roll number four And we have a three. One, two, three. Yay! We land on the prompt cards again. I think I did a great job strategically placing these ones. So let's go into the prompt cards again. I am so excited. It's been such a long time since I made these, at least like two, three months. So I don't even remember what's on most of them. Uh, and I am excited to find out again. Let's spread them out nicely. And I'm gonna go for this one. Am I holding it correctly? Of course not. And we have a young adult book. Very nice, very vague. I have a big choice on my shelf. And I selected a book from a series that I've been enjoying way more than I ever thought I would, and that is Air of Fire by Sarah J. Maas. This is the third book in the Throne of Glass series, and I am having the best time with this series. I liked book one just fine, but I really, really loved book two, and now I am super excited to read this one. I've been wanting to pick it up actually ever since December when I finished book two, but I didn't have the opportunity until now, and now that I have the choice, I choose this one. A lot of people call this series guilty pleasure, but I don't feel guilty whatsoever about liking this series. It's always nice to discover something that you like, even if it happens to be very mainstream and popular. I don't care. I think so far it was very well written. Let's see how it's gonna continue. All right, so far we have done so well. I am really, really happy about every single one of these books. And now it's time to continue with roll number five, which will probably be the last roll for this month. And we have a nine. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we landed on historical fiction. All right, I'm gonna have to think about this a bit because off the top of my head, I can't think of a historical fiction that I'm really, really excited about reading right now, but let's go see. All right, I was able to pick up a book 
rather quickly and that is The Second Sleep by Robert Harris. I picked this one up from a bookstore here on a whim because I really like the cover. I know it's very simple but it's the type of cover I really enjoy. And then I became very intrigued by the synopsis which I will now read for you because I have forgotten a lot about it. All civilizations consider themselves invul invulnerable. What a word. History warns us none is. 1468. A young priest Christopher Fairfax arrives in a remote Exmoor village to conduct the funeral of his predecessor. The land around is strewn with ancient artifacts, coins, fragments of glass, human bones, which the old parson used to collect. Did his obsession with the past lead to his death? As Fairfax is drawn more deeply into the isolated community, everything he believes about himself, his faith, and the history of his world is tested to destruction. So yeah, this sounds more like a mystery than anything else, but it is classified technically as historical fiction, so I'm gonna pick to read it now. And that is my TBR for me. It is very, very short, especially in comparison to my TBR for last month, but let's go through it one more time. We have Echo Burning by Lee Child for a series continuation. We have The Battle for the Labyrinth for a book with the in the title. We have The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn for a classic. Air of Fire for a young adult book. And The Second Sleep by Robert Harris for a historical fiction. On top of these books, I have one book that I haven't finished from last month, and that is Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins that I already mentioned prior. I am super, super happy about about every single one of the books in this TBR. And that will do it for The Lord of the Reads for May. Please let me know what your TBR is gonna be, what TBR game you're playing if you are, and if you're playing this one, please let me know how it's going. I'm super curious. Thank you so much for watching, and if you'd like to see my wrap-up for April, check out this video. Bye!